You're watching the Highlight Zone with Wayne 15 Sports Director Glenn Marini. Local sports coverage you can count on. Uh, let's go, let's go. It's time to get in the zone. The Friday night lights are on. We got Justin Glenn as your host. Down to the whistle so close. Here come the highlights of show. We love playing the wangers. There's a different type of energy going in. They're obviously hungry from when we beat them last year. We got to start off hard, pace football, and play hard from the beginning. I'm just looking for first Friday in general. I just love football. To be able to host a sectional game, you know, we're excited for uh, for our entire community. You know, the two teams knocked the the heck out of each other for four quarters and then shake their hands at the end of the game. That's the way football should be on Friday nights. Friday nights in the zone. Friday nights in the zone. Friday nights in the zone. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah, it is win or go home, put up or shut up, do or die. Yeah, you can pick the uh, sports cliche of your choice because, quite frankly, they all apply. It's one of the biggest and busiest nights of the season. We're talking sectional semifinals all across the great state of Indiana. And in the Summit City, we turn our attention to Shields Field. Josh Ayan joining us now with your Highlight Zone Game of the Week. Josh. Well, Glenn, just three weeks ago in the regular season, it was Snyder shutting out the Saints 28-0 in Week 8. But both these teams know how quickly the tables can turn. Last year, Snyder beating Dwanger by double digits in the regular season, only to see the Saints flip the script and beat Snyder 42-20 in the playoffs. Snyder at Dwanger, it's your highlight zone game of the week. The Panthers coming in ranked number one in the state's 5A poll. Dwanger also in the top 10 as the Saints ranked 10th, but it's the Panthers on the prowl early. Uriah Buchanan capping off Snyder's opening drive with a short score. 7-0 Snyder, that is the score at the end of the quarter. Second quarter now, Langston level. It's his turn to gash Dwanger's defense from 12 yards out. That's not the last time you're going to see Langston either. In the meantime, Snyder up 21-0 at the half. You saw plenty of the Panthers offense. How about some defense? Playing lights out at Shields Field. Sam Campbell getting picked off by Brandon Logan. That's an 80-yard pick six by the sophomore Snyder. Expanding their lead now by four scores. Next Snyder series on offense. Luke Hopper going through the air, finding Kamari Juarez. What a juggling grab by the senior. Able to haul this in for another touchdown. Now we promised you one more clip of level and here it is, level with a full head of steam. Shedding not one, not two, but three would-be tacklers for the 38-yard touchdown. That is an angry run if I've ever seen one, folks. Snyder dominating Dwanger 41-6 to advance to next week's sectional title game. Uh, chemistry and just everybody playing as a team and playing for each other. It's not about yourself and your stats. It's about playing for the next man next to you. We're disciplined. We're coachable. We're, we're willing to work. We're playing for the guys before us. Uh, whenever we make a mistake, we go to the sideline. We fix it. We game playing well. We're just we're a solid defense. That's what the playoffs are about. You know, we knew uh, we're going to end up playing each other because there's only four teams in the sectional, and it's you know obviously pretty likely you're going to end up playing each other. So it's just a different feel playing in the playoffs. Um, we knew it'd be a battle, and um, you know it proved to be that. Next up, Snyder getting the winner of Anderson and Northside in the 5A sectional 12 title game. 